What's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to get Siri running on your non 4S devices quickly and easy. First things first, you will need to have an, a jailbroken iPhone 4S and you will need to download Assistant Contact, Assistant Connect 4S in Cydia. And also you will need a jailbroken non 4S device. And I suggest reading through these uh, setup tips here installed uh, located in the Assistant Connect 4S and by doing this you will need to download it and then it will respring. Now once resprung you will go into Assistant Connect 4S and then you will need to power down your device right from the application just like so. and then once you've powered that down you will go to your non 4s device in this case I have an iPad iPad 1 in that in that case and as you can see I've got Siri running on it so you will need to go into Cydia and download Spire and this is really easy for you non iPad uh, folks out there but with the iPad you are unable to download Spire so I will show you quickly here how to uh, get Spire running on your iPad now with Spire you can uh, activate Siri so now with Spire not running on the iPad you will need to download iFile and then you will run iFile and you will need to locate the system library core services slash springboard area and then once you've located system slash library slash core services slash springboard you will scroll all the way down to k48ap.plist the first one and you will open that up and you will select property list viewer and then you will select capabilities and scroll down to iPad and then turn that off and then hit done once that's done you will need to reboot your device after you've rebooted now you can go into Cydia and download Spire and for you non iPad uh, folks out there you've already downloaded Spire so bear with me here and then once Spire is installed it will reboot your device and now once it's rebooted you will go into your settings general and then you will select Siri and then turn Siri on once series on, you can get out of your settings and then go back to iFile and then locate the system slash library slash core services slash springboard. Go down to the k48 ap.plist, open with property list viewer, and go to capabilities. Go back down to iPad and turn that on. And then hit done and then reboot your device once again. Okay, once you've rebooted, you can now go into Cydia. Now, from here on, uh, this goes for iPad and non 4S devices. You need to go to uh, search for Assistant Connect, and this is the non 4S version. Download Assistant Connect, and then once that's done, it will respring. And then once it has resprung, you will be able to go to your iPhone 4S, go to Assistant Connect 4S, and then enable Siri. And then test it out, just say testing. And then hit your home button. And now you will email Siri data. 
and then send it to your own email address so you can act, uh, get it from your non s device. Now on your non s device you will go to find it in your email and select on it. And once it's selected you will open in Assistant Connect and it will take you right to the Assistant Connect application and then you will uh, select that option. Once that's done I suggest respringing your device however way you can. In this case I'm going to go to Spring to Mize and respring that way. If you don't respring it won't work. Once it's resprung you can test out Siri and it should work. So if you liked the video please hit the subscribe button above. Hit the like button down below. Share this with your family and friends. I hope you really enjoyed the video and this is a great way to get Siri running on your non 4S devices running 5.0 and above and share it with your family and friends. Subscribe that way you can get my latest videos in your subscription box and thanks for watching. God bless.